Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be installing this highlight wig. It's given summertime because honestly, I've been rocking a lot of dark hair and I'm a little bored. So I want to switch it up and you guys, this wig, it's about 26 inches. However, it's literally like waist length on me because I'm not that tall. Let's get into the wig and let's see how it looks fresh out the box. So this is the wig fresh out the box. The wig is from Mega Look Hair. It is a pre-made wig, you guys, and it's transparent lace. All right, so are you guys seeing this hairline? Whew, child, I know I have my work cut out for me today. This hairline is dense. As much as I love the color, I was really living for the color. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to put in some work on this hairline. Now the knots are tiny so that's good and I have bleach on it right now because I went ahead and I bleached it off camera. I didn't do on camera because you guys have already seen this. So I'm gonna go wash this out now. All right, so I washed out the bleach and this is actually the next day. The hair is dry and you guys, this hairline, I'm telling you, it's super, super dense. So I'm gonna have to go in and tweeze. So I'm starting behind the hairline. That way I don't create any bald spots in the front of the wig. I also tweeze the front of the wig as well. So the front of the hairline. And I tweeze it for about a good 15 minutes. But you know what? It looks great after tweezing. Are you seeing that? We went from like super dense thick hairline to it might be giving scalp when we're done with her and I'm just going in with my flat iron not my flat iron my hot comb just to flatten this wig down and I might have to do a bit more tweezing once I put the wig on my head but we'll see I will say that the knots bleach really really easy because they are super small which is a good thing and as for this wig color I love the fact that the roots are dark and not that brassy brown color that's most of the highlights pre-made wigs that I've gotten in the past now I'm gonna jump into applying this wig I have my stocking cap on my head and I'm doing the ball cap method I do have a very detailed video on how I do my ball cap method so that's kind of why I sped that up as you can see, I did some tweezing on this hairline, but she still needs some work. Uh, she's not looking supernatural just yet, like, you know. Gotta fix that. I'm gonna go in with my rat tail comb and trying to figure out how I'm going to do the front. So the front, I'm gonna take out some pieces in the front, like so. It's gonna kind of give me more of a realistic hairline like a widow's peak. I naturally have a widow's peak, so I think my wigs, they look better like that. All right, time to cut this lace. I'm not good at multitasking, so I'm going on voiceover mode while I cut my lace. I do not want to mess up my lace at all. So I cut behind the ear, and as you guys know, I always like to cut my lace in sections. I'm cutting this lace in sections also because this wig is just a tad bit big for my head, but we are gonna make it work. And I'm going in with a tweezer just to tweeze out some of that hair again. And I'm gonna go in with my lace glue and wait until it dries clear and then pull down that lace. I know we're going a little fast here, but if you are new to wigs and you've never seen me install a wig, I can link one of my other videos down below. So now I'm gonna go in with my got to be free spray. I actually love using this, especially with transparent lace. I don't know, I just feel like it melts down the transparent lace really well. As you know, HD lace is really easy to melt and it just melts in the skin and looks super natural. But I feel like with transparent lace, you can get them to melt really good. You just have to put a little bit more work into it. Now I'm just cutting off that extra lace in the front and I'm kind of creating a widow's peak as you can see. I naturally have one so I light my wigs with it and especially if the hairline on the wig is like super, super straight and dense, I just feel like this is gonna make the wig look a lot lot more natural I mean we know it's a wig but you know what I mean it's gonna look better okay so I'm gonna go in with the lace glue at the sides and I'm just applying that to the sides and I'm using about two layers of glue so you want to wait until it dries down clear and then you know pop it down melt it all right so I glued down the wig as you can see I did not glue this side down because I just think it's going to look weird on me that my hairline is going all the way here i know some people naturally have a low hairline but my sides don't go like this it's just too close to my eyebrows and that's because like i said before the wig is a tad bit bigger than my head so the way i'm cutting it that's why i cut it in sections i don't just cut it all the way around I cut it in sections because i'm trying to customize it for my face and my hairline 
And guys, do not be scared when it comes to cutting the hair on the lace. It is okay because I said the hair does go out a bit too far on me. So I can cut that lace and not worry about cutting off too much of it. Okay, so I just finished gluing down this side. I know she's not completely done just yet, but I'm gonna move on to this side and I'm gonna do it off camera really quickly because honestly, it's the same thing. So you don't need to see it. And I am tired of this little mirror, okay? I need, I need to go in the big mirror now. Okay, so the wig is all glued down and the hairline is actually looking a lot better. We're gonna go ahead and cut some baby hairs. Now, you know I'm not really big on the baby hair thing, but when it comes to transparent lace, I do think it is a must because transparent lace, it's not like HD lace, you know, we need to hide the lace. You don't be walking around and you can see the lace, like that's not the look. So I already cut the baby hairs and I did my baby hairs and I don't know what happened. I think I lost the clip, but I added some mousse in my hair and now I'm gonna tie it down. I cannot decide on a center part or a side part. Okay, I just went ahead and did a side part. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends, to basically just trimming them because they were looking a little ratty at the end. But yeah, this is pretty much how the hair looks in the side part. I just want you guys to see different styles and this is how it looks in the center now this is a 13 by 4 wig so you can definitely do a half up half down i like the fact that there's also a lot of parting room at the sides a lot of 13 by 4 wigs don't really have that now yeah so this is pretty much the completed hair i know this was a super quick tutorial but it's just an install it's not like i made this wig from scratch so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video thumbs it up if you do comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see next i'll see you in another video very soon i love you guys and thank you for watching bye bye